Hey folks, uh, today I have a challenge for you. Um, I want to show you how to play a song if you've never played guitar before. Uh, and I want to show you how to play a song in preferably 10 minutes. I'm going to see if I can get it under 10 minutes. So let's crack on. Um, I'm not going to explain everything in great detail, but you should be able to pick it up hopefully. I want you to take this finger, <laughs> excuse me, and I want you to put it on the fifth string. So that's not this one closest to the top, it's the second one down. And I want you to put it in what we call the second fret, which means not this gap here, but this gap here. Okay? Hopefully, I mean, you can see that quite clearly, so hopefully that makes sense. I want you to take this finger, the ring finger. I can't get the pinky out of the way. God damn you. <laughs> that finger. And I want you to put that straight underneath the index finger, the second finger, the birdie finger, as I often shouldn't really recall it, but I do. Okay, so you've got on the fifth string and the fourth string, and they're both in that gap there. If you can get that, then you may have just learnt your first chord. That's called E minor. And if you strum all six strings, you'll have that sound. Okay, pause the video if you need to, but we're going to try and do this in 10 minutes. You may or may not get that quite that quick, but that's fine. As I say, you can pause it. As long as I can teach it in 10 minutes, I've, I've achieved my end of the bargain. <laughs> okay, now I want you to move up with this finger and down with this finger. So they do the splits. So it goes from five and four to six and three. I wonder if there's an easier angle for you to see that. There maybe? Maybe there? So they, they lift up and do the splits. So that's on six and three, and now they're on five and four. So, so lift up and do the splits. Okay, can you get that? So your first chord sounds like this. Your second chord sounds like that. And you can strum all six strings. Okay, now let's talk about strumming if you've never strummed. I want you to strum down with your fingers. I'd better hold, hold a chord, otherwise it's going to sound horrible. Down with your fingers and up with your thumb. Down with your fingers, up with your thumb. Let your wrist roll like that. Let's just take that back a bit. So it's there. It's not all just in the in the uh, in the elbow. Down, roll up. Down, roll up. You might need to practice that a little bit. I would imagine you will. Um, and then we're aiming for. This. Is that okay? Yeah, so that, and then your second chord is gonna come in after a count of um, four. So it's gonna be, actually after three, because it's gonna be one, two, three, change. So it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. Okay, now, what's likely to be going wrong here? At this point, your chords might not be sounding right. Make sure you're pressing hard enough, but not too hard, and make sure you do lots of repetition there, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. And, and strum just down once, so you know your chords are sounding correct. Just get used to doing that first. With your strumming, what you can do is Put your hand really gently on the string so you're hardly touching it so that it doesn't ring out and you get a percussive sound. And you're going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I like to call it chucka chucka, but for now, at this stage, you still want that instruction. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Later on, you'd be calling it chucka 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 chucka. That's a whole other story though, so don't worry about that. Okay? And if you can do the chords and you can do the strumming and you can count to four, you're probably going to be pretty good to go. So it's going to be one, two, three, change. So I'm going to do it slowly. Try and do it with me. After four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. Now I'm stopping in between because I know that's what you're probably going to be doing. But really, we want this to carry on relentlessly. Okay? So we want this to keep going. So it's going to be one, two, change one two three change 
So even when you're changing the chords and there's nothing actually pressing down, you keep this going. So the rhythm hand is like a machine, you know, one, two, three, change, one. It doesn't matter if the hands come off, change, one, two, three, change, one, two, three, change. We're at about five and a half minutes now, and I reckon that's probably done, okay? However, I said 10 minutes, so it means we've got plenty of time. Now, go and have a listen to the song. Uh, it's called Horse With No Name. It's by America. I think it came out in the late 70s, but don't quote me on that because I'm guessing. Um, and that's the whole song. That's all it does. Uh, so you're going to get the... Uh, what's the lyrics? Um, Been through the desert on a horse with no name Feel good to be out of the sun Or is it the rain? I can never remember what the lyric is. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. La, 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 la. <clears throat> So you're just going down, up, down, up, down, up, change, down, up, down, up, down, up, change, down, up, down, up, down, up, change. If you can do that, you've learned your first song. And um, there's quite a lot of songs that have only got two chords in them. Um, I've written a couple myself, actually. So there you go, you've learned Horse With No Name, and this video has taken about six and a half minutes. So if you did it, well done. If you didn't do it, comment in this post and let me know what went wrong. And in fact, if you did do it, let me know, because you know you should be celebrating if you've learned your first song, that's, that's amazing. If you didn't do it, let me know what went wrong. I guess what you're gonna need to do is pause and rewind and go back a couple of times. But let me know what you think, okay? Let me know if this works for you, because I'm trying to get across really this idea that once you know a couple of chords and you know a couple of a, a simple strumming pattern, you can put it together really quick. This is what I'm trying to get across, and I'm creating a new course called the Bare Bones Acoustic Kickstarter, which is going to highlight all that sort of stuff. But uh, no doubt you'll hear about that um, at some point. If you're if you're hearing this, you'll probably hear about that. So there we go. Um, we're still only at uh, where are we? Seven twenty-two, seven and a half minutes. So uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that, and take care. I'll see you soon.